Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet everyone in the building. You that is watching me, I bless everyone in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to appreciate you all, my fans that is watching me, that is sharing my video. God will continue to bless you. Please, today is your first time that is that is what that you are watching my video. Please kindly subscribe to the red button. Anytime I upload a new video, you first to get notification. If you already do that, God will bless you. Also, follow me on my Facebook page, Ben Nice Love TV. God will also bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Before we go to this topic, let's say a short of prayer. Father, mighty God, we thank you. We bless you. We appreciate you, Lord. Heavenly Father, King of glory, we are grateful for everything you have been doing in our life. We say thank you. We thank you for your grace, your mercy, your love towards us, Father. We say thank you, Jesus, because you are the King of kings. You are the Lord of Lords. Father, as we are about to hear your word, oh God, Father, help us so that we are able to understand your word in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, today's topic, another wonderful, interesting topic that will help you and I in the mighty name of Jesus. So, today's topic is, is deed, is deed. That is today's topic, you understand? So, what that mean? It means that when we praise you, when we praise you, God, when we praise you, God, we praise you for your name is near, you understand? People tell of the wonder about God. So. When God do things for you, we need to praise Him. We need to thank Him. You understand? As you do that, may God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So we are using the book of Psalm 70, 75, verse one. Then he's telling us about. I say, it's a perfect. That place is talking. It's a perfect verse. He's talking about thanksgiving. You understand? So because when you see people tell of you. The wonders did by telling of a, a God wonderful deed, which is show the it show our thanksgiving and uh, our bringing Him glory. That the way to show our gratitude, you understand. So there is something about this story about that said we should give thanks to Him. I uh, understand when God do things for us, we should come uh, to appreciate God. We should come with a with a thanksgiving to show the gratitude of the good things that God do for us. You understand? Because when we are in difficulties, when we are ask of things, ask of God, uh, ask some, uh, ask some, uh, ask God something. You understand? When God do it for us, for us to come to Him and give Him thanks, give to thank Him, to to show Him our attitude, we find it difficult. I call that selfishness. You understand? Because when you when you were in that particular situation, when you are looking for that thing, you understand. You were you were asking God. You were crying, fasting, and prayer, seeking the face of God. So when God do it for you, it's for your it's for you to come to Him and tell God, thank you, I appreciate you. This is my uh, 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 um. Uh, this is the, uh, the way to show my gratitude to him. You understand? Not that when God do things for you to come and thank him, you will find it difficult. That will not be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, in that book of uh, uh, Psalm 75, then he's talking about Psalm. You understand? How Psalm celebrates perfectly justice. You know, in the Father's Go, uh, the good will to reward and evil will be uh, um, uh, punished. You understand? So anything that we are doing this head, we are doing this world. You understand? There is a reward and there is a punishment. You, you understand? When you are doing the right thing in the, in the presence of God, God will reward you. But when you are doing the, 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 the wrong side, you are doing the wrong thing, you will definitely see the reward, uh, the, the punishment. You understand? So, that punishment will not be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, he celebrate, some celebrate, he celebrate God, the power, he hold on to, he hold the, the, um, uh, the world together. Despite all the weak, the wickedness, you understand it, he celebrate the fact that those are, are the arrogance and the uh, wicked with one uh with one uh, with one getting in coming to them you understand so those are the deeds the psalm wanted people to know um uh, about about it because the world have survived to the day we can celebrate 
him. You understand? So it's good for us to celebrate God. We should celebrate God. If not, not even when we are in good time, even though we are in bad time, we celebrate him. We praise him. We worship him. You know, that is what God wants from us. As we are doing that, God is going to uh, bless us in the mighty a name of Jesus Christ. You understand? Some when uh, uh, he also uh, make a list, a probably it could look uh, uh, much different than the uh, than some. You understand? He may celebrate the world things that we that happen to to uh, happen happen at work in school. Um. Uh, um. Um. What they call it? Um. Uh, well, we celebrate him in the way have we grow in a spiritual uh, um, church. You understand? So we we may also celebrate our heavenly, our family. You know the bone. We all, we may also celebrate our friends, our um, uh, our minister, our uh, the opportunity. You understand? So that is it. But why can't we celebrate God? You can celebrate in school, in church, your friends, your family, one to one the other, one to the other. You celebrate it. Why can't we celebrate God? The, especially the gift of life. You understand? Some people are in the hospital, battle for their life. Only they, only, they are asking God, God, if you can give me another opportunity to live. But you and I, we live sun and healthy. So you understand? We do not contact any, any sickness. They will not rush us to hospital. Even though, that, even though that is the most important thing for us to celebrate God. Celebrate God. God, I thank you. I glorify your name. I worship you. I adore you because you are worthy. Because you are marvelous. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for making my life, my, my, my life beautiful. Thank you for... No, it's good for us to celebrate God. If we are celebrating our family, our friends, party in the school, in the church, in the this that, we need to all those things. We need to, all those things that we are doing. We need to celebrate God. It's very very important. You understand? As you may God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It does not really matter uh, uh, what we celebrate. Only that we we praise God and share the other the amazing thing He has done in our life. You understand? It's very important. It's good to celebrate the, the good thing that God do for uh, did for us. It's good to celebrate when you are when you are when you, when you are in difficulties. When you are in difficulties at the end, God bring you out from that difficulties. You understand? It's for you to celebrate God. It's for you to appreciate God. When you are looking for the fruit of the room, you marry for many years, no children. At the end, God bless you with that uh, the fruit of the womb. He give you a beautiful son, a beautiful daughter, a beautiful baby. All you need to do is for you celebrate God, appreciate God, give him thanks. God no not is not ask you money. He does not ask you silver or gold. He only asks you uh, show the show show the uh, show, show the gratitude of appreciation to him, which means praise him. Talk about the good thing that he that he did for you. Talk about the, the amazing, the wonderful thing God that did for you. You understand? You are looking for a job. At the end, God give you a job. All you need to do is for you. At the end, come to Him and thank God. I thank you for the job that you gave to me. I thank you for giving me the, give me a beautiful job and a good salary. Even though the salary is still small, as far you are still working, it's for you to come to the house of God. Pay your tithe. Say God, I. Uh, uh, I, I, this is my tithe for the, for the, for the, um, the money that I earn. You saw it. You appreciate God. You understand. If you are looking for a document, at the end, God give you a document. All you need to do, go to this house and give his thanks and praise him. Because the moment you are praising God, you are, uh, you are making God to do more and more for you. You understand? So it's for us to appreciate God. It's for us to celebrate God. It's for, it's for us to give him thanks. Call the name, the kind of name you know how to call him. You understand? As you are doing that, God will continue to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So please, Learn how to appreciate God. Learn how to appreciate God. Show a, 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 a way of attitude to Him. Show, show, show Him that God, I appreciate you. Tell Him, God, I bless you. 
I honor you. I glorify your name because of the good things you have been, you have been doing for my life, in the life of my family. You sleep, you wake up. It sustains you. It grace sustains you and I. Some people slept last night, they did not wake up. Some people, they have they have plan, you understand? They have vision, they have dream, but they 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 they, they, they sleep and they not wake up. Not that because we are holy, we, we are too holy, you understand? Not because we are too righteous that God kept us alive, because his grace, his mercy kept us alive. It's for us to show him a gratitude of appreciation. The way some appreciate God, the way some praise him, the way some celebrate God, let us do it. Let us do it. You understand? Let us tell, tell the world that God is amazing. God is powerful. He's the giver of life. He do, he do what no man cannot do. Let us give him, give him thanks. The way Sam did, 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 the way Sam celebrates him, let us do that. As we are doing that, God is going to bless us in the mighty name of jesus christ so i i hope this message will bless someone there you understand i keep on saying we are not perfect so uh -huh. we are not perfect so let us be doing the little one that we know god will continue to bless us and he will continue to strengthen us in the mighty name of jesus christ so our my prayer for you and i today that we should say god we celebrate the goodness in our life so that in, in every area of our life, we, we, he give us everything we need and more. We should thank him. That is our prayer for you and I. We should thank him for celebrating for the goodness, for, the, for everything you have been doing in our life, in your family, uh, in the life of your children. You know, we should celebrate him. We should praise him. We should give thanks to him. It's amazing. God is amazing. Just sit down and think the good. I just think fish don't be fish out the good thing that God has been doing to doing in your life, in your marriage, in the life of your children. Let's it's good for us to celebrate God. Let's appreciate God. Don't displease God and please human beings and please people. Instead of you to celebrate God, you are celebrating man, you're celebrating man and woman outside. They don't know your value. Celebrate God, my brother and my sister. Appreciate Him. When you wake up in the morning, God, I thank you. Do you, you think it's easy for someone to sleep? When you sleep, it's like someone is dead. When you are, when you are sleeping, you don't even know how the sleep will come. You understand? So you're just like someone is dead. Until you wake up again, you will not know how you will wake up and open your eyes. Is that not is that not is that not awesome? Is that not the reason for us to appreciate God? For us to celebrate God? Yes. Please let's celebrate God. Don't listen to what people say. Celebrate God. Celebrate our Jesus. The, this, the, the, the Jesus that came to this world to die for you and I in the cross of Calvary, he said it is finished. What, what that mean? Our pains, our sorrow, our sadness, our struggling is finished. He died for you and I. So those are the reasons for us to celebrate God. Your father will not die for you. Your mother will not die for you. Nobody will come to this and to die for you, but Jesus did it. He did it for you and I. So let's celebrate. God. Let's know how to appreciate God. Let's know how to give God the praise. Just the way some celebrate God. He thank Him. Sacrifice. When God does something for you, go to His house and make it and do a, thank, a sacrifice of thanksgiving to Him. Yes, so I want to thank you all. I believe this message will bless one someone there. God bless you until I come again with another wonderful uh, topic. God bless you. Bye.